the first point uh, resistant to change the second point forces of electronic support and the last point wanted assurance assurance of reliability okay. uh, can anyone edit the to do explain mm -hmm. i think enough enough yeah that's Amazing. all this way, miss. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Uh, so, the next one is uh, Aqualisa as a company. They have internal and external factor. Uh, can you mention it? Uh, I'm going to mention the internal factor. Uh, First, the internal strength is they have a good relationship with plumbers. They also have a strong emphasis on R&D and they are a premium brand with top quality showers. The weakness of Aquaisa is that they have low brand awareness among the customers, mainly because most customers use bathtubs and uh, plumbers distrust innovation. Uh, the opportunities for Aquaisa is that 40% of UK homes do not have showers installed. So they still have 40% more potential customers out there. And con consumers are not fully satisfied with current showers. The threat is that competition is catching up in product quality. They, the market is starting to see the brand as overpriced as, as plenty of cheaper showers are starting to show. And the surface, surface levels are starting to deteriorate. That too, literally. Okay, so after we look at the internal and external factor, uh, can you explain what is the competitive advantage the company has? Uh, can you remind me the question? Uh, the question is what is the competitive advantage that company has? Oh. Uh, I think the competitive or benefit of Aquarius Quartz is for individual, uh, it's uh, cheaper uh, for the do-it-yourself consumer because it's uh, easy to maintain, to build, to install. Is, install. Oh yeah, install. And for the plumbers, there's a large market share. Uh, between plumbers and strong influence to customer customer so uh, I think uh, Aqualiza is well known uh, uh, between plumbers and uh, DIY customer okay, uh, so that's all so that's all uh, what is uh, as a company Aqualiza of course, need a strategy to to sustain in the business. Uh, can you make uh, what can you see from the case? Uh, the strategy that Aqualiza use the art corporate strategy, business strategy, and marketing strategy. Maybe from the corporate strategy, any of you? Uh, <coughs> so name. Uh, from what I read. Uh, the, about the cor company or corporate corporate strategy, uh, I found a few uh, the Aqualiza used to be the strategy. First, about the product, they use the line extension product, so they can more promote their product. Then they try to reach out more trade shop, so they can make a wide distribution about the the product then they <coughs> they do the promotion to the pump plumber and the uh, last they use the about the price they use the gradually reduce retail price and publish publish installation cost happy okay that's the answer uh, from the others, maybe from the business strategy. Business strategy, that's different with corporate strategy. 
Mm. I think this business strategy is not different than comparison strategy. Uh, in the case I had read, Aqualiza thing, Aqualiza thing somewhere on the market was ordinary. So they make new innovation like electric shower, thermal acid control, and they the showers is so many people. So because of that, they make uh, they can be a market leader in the UK. Okay, the last is from marketing strategy. Uh, Program. Marketing formulation, formulation, marketing strategy. Yeah, uh, the marketing strategy of Aqualiza uh, split into four uh, factors. Uh, first is targeting customer directly. Uh, target customers with this product and try to build a consumer brand like return the competitor. Uh, after that, uh, the Aqualiza uh, uh, targeting the DIY consumer. Uh, they tried to explore deeply because they were primarily interested in inexpensive models that were easy, easy to install, even though the products were unattractive. After that, uh, they used to target uh, developers. Uh, this alternative would conceivably be a large value channel because of developers on board they would sell a lot of showers and the last is uh, they used to target trade shops and plumbers of course plumbers are the major seller of and the influence sir in the shower product sales and save and to save the adver advertisement cost thank you next how about the marketing program? That is, uh, I asked and my my partner about marketing formulation. And now I will ask about marketing pro pro program. Sorry, program. So it's uh, like real implementation from program in a coalition. So the programs are the first increase adoption rates of parts and the second convince plumbers about the benefits of parts. The third one increase penetration to distribution channels. And the last one is maintain market share of current products. I think there are four programs. Enough. Okay, thank you. Uh, before we close the focus group discussion, uh, thank you for the attendance. Now I will explain the conclusion in focus group discussion in case study 2. Akulisa is a product shower with premium plus, but only 40% consumer is potential to use Aqualisa. Aqualisa have a weakness that is brand awareness who still little in consumer. Um, Aqualisa have a cheaper and easy to maintenance to consumer and the other other the other instead of maybe can edit Aquarisa is a company that launched quartz shower that is the first significant product innovation in the UK shower but the problem is uh, only about 60% of UK home and showers have uh, showers uh, so they, the, the solution from it uh, they use 
a lot of channel to distribute their product. Okay, I think okay. that's that's all for today focus group discussion. Uh, we will see you in the next focus group discussion with different case. Are you ready? Yay! Yay.